Right now, thank you everyone for tuning in again today. Today we're going to talk about Achilles tendon ruptures and how they're missed. These are common stories or excuses or reasons why um, these injuries are missed. They're actually missing up to 25% of cases. So the first reason is um, often what I hear as a story is, look, my foot was swollen and it was a little sore, um, but I'm, I'm able to walk. I can walk, right? So obviously, you know, I don't have anything terrible. I don't have, a, I can't have an Achilles tendon rupture, right? Actually, the, I would say the majority of patients with Achilles tendon rupture can actually walk after the injury. They might feel like they've got a little bit of power or they'll be a bit swollen, but they can certainly walk, right? Um, and this is a very, very common uh, type of presentation, right? They usually walk in the emergency department. The rest of the muscles and the tendons around the ankle are actually still working, so that you can still walk, even though the Achilles is quite powerful. And as I said, they're always walking in my office or the emergency department. Very rarely are they off the foot. So number two. And the second uh, sort of story I often hear from patients is, look, I can still push my foot downwards, right? And that's what the Achilles is supposed to do. So surely um, surely I don't have an Achilles tendon rupture, right? Um, surely it must be uh, must be working as it should, like, you know, what this person's doing in the picture just here, right? Um, but unfortunately, same deal as with the walking, right? Um, Often doctors even miss this because they look at the foot and they're like, oh, it's pointing down, right? That's the mechanism of what the Achilles does, what that picture shows just there, right? Um, the unfortunate thing is there's a tendon that runs down the big toe side of the ankle around the back, which is known as the tibialis posterior tendon, right? And it's responsible for holding up your arch, but it also does that mechanism of the photo on the left there that we're pointing to. And so you can still actually do that position with your foot. And so a lot of doctors that are inexperienced get confused by that and say everything is all right. Um, but you can actually still move your foot down even if you ruptured your Achilles. Right, now, the next most common story that I that I often hear is, look, all I did was push up my foot to injure my ankle, right? It wasn't a big injury. Like, I didn't feel this massive pop or a snap or anything like that. Surely I couldn't have done my Achilles, right? It's not a big injury. The thing is, Achilles is actually a very sinister injury. It doesn't occur often with a, with a, um, uh, a big twist or anything like that to the ankle. Often and you're pushing off for a run, and the most common story we hear from people is, look, I feel like someone kicked me in the back of the leg, right? Or they say, it felt like someone shot me in the back of the leg or something was thrown at the back of my leg and hit me in the back of the leg. But then when I turned around, nobody was there. Um, and so it's often not a massive injury. Like often, you know, from the sidelines, not easily picked. Um, and so it's usually pretty innocuous, right? Um, it's usually not very painful either. Some patients do have pain in the area, but it's often often not super painful. And as I said before, there's no usual big snap or crack that you hear with often the big other, you know, tendon injuries around the knee or ligament injuries around the knee. So, then on to number four. So, um, the teaching for doctors is that you often feel what's called a palpable gap, meaning if you move your fingers uh, along the tendon, you should actually fall into a space if you rupture the tendon. Uh, and so you often patients will get told, look, my doctor couldn't feel a gap in the tendon, so it must be okay. It's probably not a complete rupture, so there's no problem, right? That's often not the case. Uh, I would say that um, in experienced hands, a gap can be felt, but often, um, often it's not super easy to feel a gap in the tendon. And so what this picture is sort of showing is you should have like, if it was a clearly um, established gap, you'll have a, a one, side of the, one side of the tendon torn, the other side of the tendon torn, and the yellow area is, the, is always the, the gapped area, and that's what the uh, doctor should fall into. But um, that's often missed, right? So it's often not picked up, it's not very easy for the person looking at it. So essentially, in terms of your assessment, most people need to make sure that the Achilles looks the same, it feels the same, and it moves the same. And it's got to do all three of those things um, and if it doesn't, you'd be looking at Achilles tendon rupture, right? So in terms of uh, looking the same, you'll see in this picture here that one of the foot feet, this is the foot on the right, so it's looking at the Achilles on the back, um, is pushed down, it's in what's called a plantar flex position, whereas the Achilles on the left is much in a much flatter position. And so you'd be worried about the Achilles actually being ruptured on the left because the resting posture is, is usually um, on the right, what the, what the foot actually looks like. Um, so that's one clue. The second thing is, do they feel the same? So your doctor should be able to feel along the tendon around the back, and they should feel exactly the same. You should be able to feel it yourself, that you feel a nice, firm tendon in everybody, no matter how big or how small you are. But often the effective side will feel a bit boggy. There might not be a big gap, but it'll often feel boggy. and that's um, So it's got to feel exactly the same, or there's something bad going on with the Achilles. And the last one is, do they move the same? So there's a, a test called the Thompson's test, where the doctor will squeeze your calf, and often your calf will look like that on the left. And then when they squeeze it, it should look like it does on the right. So your foot should point down when they squeeze the calf. But often with a patient with an Achilles rupture, it won't move at all, um, or only move a little bit. And it's gotta look the same on both sides, otherwise there's something going on. Now the fifth problem we have um, in terms of why an Achilles is often missed is due to ultrasounds, right? Achilles is what's called a, 
um, a clinical test, you should be able to pick up your doctor just based on looking at your um, Achilles itself. No tests, you know, no x-rays, ultrasounds, anything like that. And often patients will get something called a partial rupture report on ultrasound and think, oh good, that's, you know, it's not all gone, so it's no good. Um, but uh, ultrasounds are very user dependent. That means that there's some good ones, some bad ones, and they're not always that accurate. And you've got to think, even if, it, uh, if the tendon's only um, torn about 5%, that's still as classed as a partial rupture, um, which um, doesn't really help you because 5% of the tendon is not going to do much. And so essentially what matters is actually how the tendon is functioning, which is what goes back to what we were doing in terms of talking about the fourth reason, in terms of how it looks, how it moves, um, and how it feels. All right? It's got to be actually functioning as a proper tendon. Um, a partial rupture doesn't mean it's going to be okay. So key points in the talk today, you can still walk with an Achilles tendon rupture, right? So don't, if you can walk, don't, don't push it out of the way. You can still push your foot down with an Achilles tendon rupture, so that's not, not reassuring if you can do that. And if you've got an Achilles tendon rupture, um, it's not often caused by a big injury or a trauma, okay? It's often very subtle. It can be caused by that, but it's less likely to be. The, la the fourth thing is you may, may not always be able to feel a gap in the Achilles tendon. Um, and then the fifth one is, is that just because you have an ultrasound that reports a partial rupture, it doesn't mean you definitely don't have a bad injury. So um, for more information, look us up on www.hunterfootandankle.com.au. Thank you for listening today. We do have a talk on Achilles tendon ruptures in terms of whether you need surgery or not and it helps in making that, in helping making that decision. So take a look at that video too. Thanks.